Welcome back to Today on 2. Today we have a lot of stuff lined up on this table. It looks like a lot it. of good stuff. So what are we going to start off with today? We are going to start off with a, it's like a cheese ball, but it's oh, not cheese. It's a holiday it's peanut, peanut butter, butter ball. and chocolate. Yeah. And it looks absolutely delicious. And you just need cream cheese. You need some peanut butter. Um, what else do you need? The confectionate sugar. Confectioner sugar yeah. and brown sugar. Well, that's, I think we have actually. I think we actually have most of the ingredients at the bottom of the screen. So let's roll through those and see what all we have. All right. We need. Uh, let's start off with a package of cream cheese. Yes, that's right. Very important. Very that's probably important. the most important it's thing. It's one of the, the most important butter. things. We're going to need a cup of powdered sugar. We're going to need three fourths of a cup of creamy peanut butter. I mean, you can use crunchy if you like that kind of texture, but for me, I prefer. Uh, if I'm cooking, I want creamy peanut butter. Right. And then you'll also need three tablespoons of packed brown sugar. And then you're going to need three fourths of a cup of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. And as well, you're also going to need peanut butter chips. Now we use chocolate chips. Um, that were semi-sweet and milk chocolate. So on our table here, we have a nice little variety. Right. So all you do, we're going to start with it from here. And you, you beat all the ingredients that are not chocolate chips right. together. And you're going to let them wrap them in this ball shape. Here we use plastic wrap. And you're just going to let it chill until it's fairly solid to work with. Ours is not nearly as chilled as we would like it to be. But we're going to try it anyway. So once it's chilled and it's in the ball shape, you're just going to take it out. Here, right. let's move these. And you're going to roll it in the peanut butter chips and the chocolate chips. Right. Just get them all over it. And this would be a great project if, like, you have kids. Because I know I used to love cooking with my mom and doing, like, the gross, like, squishy Hands things. Hands on. Yeah. Yes. Making dumplings was my favorite thing. And you just roll it. Just get all. Put them all in there. Yeah. yeah. See, it's so easy. The hardest part is waiting for it to chill, really. And I um, think. when we, when mixing all of the ingredients together, and and actually just as a heads up, we're gonna put all these uh, recipes onto On our, our Facebook, Facebook page. page. Yes. Yeah, so, so you, you can, can go get them there. But um, while we were mixing stuff together, we didn't have a mixer. Um, to but, use it is, a wooden spoon. but it is possible, be, yes, to use a wooden spoon, <laughs> yes. as we found out. It's not um, as easy, but it is possible. So right. if you're a, a big into DIY kind of things, yeah. you can use a wooden spoon. But I mean, I wish we'd had a mixer that myself. Been, I <laughs> also wish, because I was the one mixing, yes, that we had a mixer. Yes, manpower over here did our mixing. <laughs> so you get all your chocolate chips, you can roll it, you can press them on, sprinkle it, however you want to, all, all right. your chocolate peanut butter chips. Then you're going to chill it for a little bit longer. Yeah, you chill it for about two two hours is what it mm -hmm. said after before you serve it right we are not going to do that right now though <laughs> we obviously we don't have that it. kind of time so when you serve it you're going to serve it with some graham crackers and see doesn't it look like a cheese ball right here yeah it does it looks like a beautiful little cheese ball i'm impressed with us it is chocolate and peanut butter and right. I mean, you can't go wrong with those you two things. You can't go wrong I at think. all. Absolutely. So that is our first dish that we have for you all. Yeah, super easy. It's great for um, taking to parties because that's something, I mean, look at it. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, it's about yay big. So. Right. And it's very easy. It's super, make. super easy. Just see, just remember to let it chill. Yeah. That's the, that's that is the, the main thing. the important part. So for our next recipe, we are going to make some Grinch kebabs. They're super cute. They're really easy. And while we make the Grinch kebabs, if you will go ahead and start yeah, chocolate, ahead and start for, chocolate our for our next, next recipe. One. Sure so will. I will give that to you. Thank you so much. And so what we're going to need for these Grinch kebabs is just um, green grapes, just like regular, you know, green supermarket grapes. We're going to need some strawberries, bananas, and some little mini marshmallows. We, all, what we did was cut out the um, the big, big giant marshmallows because that's what we had but and they're cheap any kind of marshmallows yes so what we're going to do we're going to put these on these. right we're going to put these on knives so you can see it a little bit better but we're going to take a green grape and just slide it on to the toothpick or the knife or what have you whatever you're making it with right and then you're going to take a slice of the banana and slide it on i think now's a good time to start singing your amino one mr right. Right. <laughs> and you're going to cut the top off the strawberry and slide it on. See, it's looking like a Grinch now. Huh? Right, 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 right. And to finish it off, just top it with a marshmallow. And right. there you have it. And you have a little Grinch. It is a Grinch. And Joel likes to give it some chocolate chip eyes. 
which you're right. more than welcome to do. Which you're more than welcome to do, and you can you can Just set you can in. credit me. There you go. And there he is. There is a there is a little Grinch for you. It, it is a, like a great Grinch. It is a great Grinch, and they taste great. They and, do. But, well, mainly we really wanted to do this one because yesterday we were like. All of this stuff is really bad for you. So why this one is a little heavier. Why don't we get some fruit? And again, this one is super easy if you're making stuff with your kids or grandkids. Oh my gosh, right. you just fell off. Oh, That's well. okay. Um, things to take to your kids like school parties, whatever, because they're really cracking down on what you can and cannot bring to schools now. So Surprise! So, I mean, I think just a little bit of chocolate and marshmallow on this would be fine. Well, of course. Myself. Yeah, absolutely. So, put a couple more of these together. Joel, I'm not going to ask what you just did. Nothing. I'm not going to ask. Nothing. Just keep The splash keep of strawberry. We are... We are... Give him a hat. You want to talk about to, chocolate? Now, I, I'm sure most of you haven't heard of the school, but we actually went to Cordon Red. It's kind of yes. like Cordon some, Bleu. Some, yes, that's where we learned our... Um, it's a little more private. Skills. Yeah, it's a little more elite. I mean, it's, I had to try a couple of times to get in it. And it's really but, good to uh, it's really good to uh, to use strawberries when you're cooking because it's just chock full of vitamin mm -hmm. blah. right? Lots of them. Good. Lots, Lots of, of that <laughs> yes. vitamin. So. And here's our Grinch kebabs. We have plenty of them. Um, again, it's a good, uh, it's great for kids. It's uh, you know getting getting them into the fruit and uh, the uh, the good stuff. Yeah. So let's see, is our chocolate? <laughs> let's see, is our chocolate about ready? Had it going for about two minutes. And the easy thing about this recipe is it's just chocolate and Ritz crackers and peanut butter. And that's all it is. And this is one of my favorite recipes. I've been making this since I was a little girl, since I was old enough to help cook. And all you do, you're going to melt your chocolate, eh, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, it needs a little bit more. You're going to, while, and while your chocolate is melting, let me move these grapes out of the way. You're going to take some Ritz crackers and just make some peanut butter crackers. That's all. Of course, make sure you take the seal off of the peanut butter. That's yes. one of the really important yes. steps. It just makes, I mean, some things, it just makes it, it easier. It just makes it know? easier when you do that. <laughs> so, thank you, Chuck. So, while your chocolate's melting, just make peanut butters. Again, all these recipes that we're doing are super, super kid-friendly because I know I used to love um, Christmas baking with my grandmother, and that was, these. Are, this is the kind of stuff that we made, and I probably was a lot more of a hindrance than a help right. because I was little, but that's okay. Anyways, not much has changed. Since uh, being in the kitchen, so <laughs> yes, <laughs> since, since <laughs> just, because we couldn't I'm get just yesterday. Kidding. Just is that? What do you say? I think we're fine. I think that'll okay. be good. And so all you do is melt the chocolate and dip. <laughs> the cookie, the cookie okay, the chocolate. I'm never letting you melt chocolate again, Joel. Oh, never again. It's, it's supposed to be a little smoother than this, but I'm afraid we burned it. <laughs> so don't burn your chocolate. <laughs> Obviously, Joel is also more of a hindrance than they, us in the kitchen. They taste a lot better than yes. They these look are right these now. are delicious. It's almost like they are homemade Reese cups. Right. Because you've got you, the peanut butter, the chocolate, and the the Ritz cracker just gives it a little bit of extra texture. Right. We um the problem that we are having is that our our microwave here at the station has one setting on it. And it's really hot. So, so, so do watch your do watch your chocolate because you don't want it to scorch. Right. And so don't let Joel cook your chocolate. And don't let me. <laughs> so we have our peanut butter ball. We have our Grinch kebabs. We have our chocolate peanut butter crackers. And we're going to show you some more neat recipes in a second. Yeah. So don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> 